Welcome to OLOP RV. I'm Curtis. I'm Jonathan. And I'm freezing my ass off. It, so is, Jonathan, cold. <laughs> it's, it is cold today. Jonathan's going to be in front of the camera. I'm going to be behind the camera. But anyway. Uh, Shivering. So if it's, uh, <laughs> you know I'm freezing my ass off. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm not sure if you subscribe to our channel yet. But if you're not, click right here and uh, subscribe and hit that bell of notification. Yes. All right, this part of the video we're about to show is going to be how we emptied the box truck. All those uh, storage boxes and different things because it used to be an electric company, right? Yes. So there was a lot of like stuff for ladders and a lot of steel and everything. Yeah, it was a power company um, service or, or emergency repair. Yeah. And uh, so they had this a lot of boxes. How many pounds do you think of steel uh, was at in At least 2,000. It was crazy, but uh, we took pictures of uh, how much stuff we had, and we actually basically had a garage sale. Not really. We put it on Facebook Marketplace, and somebody came and bought it yep. and took it Somebody who needed it, which yep. was happy that it went to a good place. Yep, absolutely. Oh, um, and then Curtis has spent all his time. No, yes. he spent some time, and he taped out the walls, mm -hmm. and we did a tour based off of what well, we... Well, first we did a floor plan. I did a floor plan, and then we taped it out to see if it would work. Yes, and uh, then you did a tour of it as yes. you did it. And mm -hmm. it was a little weird, but it was kind of cool at the same time because you get to see where everything's going to be laid out and right. how, you, how if you can live in it and right. things like that. Yep. You always have to see the floor plan and actually dimensions. I mean, it's a big thing. This is a weird garage sale, Curtis. <laughs> so. <laughs> this is what it looks like all gutted out and ready to start. It looks very good. Mm -hmm. Love it. it almost looks purple when you put it on. Yep. So we bought this truck up north, so we knew we would have some rust issues, and honestly, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. We found this online, Cor Corroso Seal, and I'm extremely impressed with it so far. I'm not sponsored or linked to them, I just like their product. Johnny will show you the difference in what we've done, and I think it's made a big difference in the bus box. So this is one of the wheel wells that we have here. Let me see how rusted it is. And this is us just putting two coats on top of it. And you can definitely see how it converts the rust into metal. metal. So makes it nice and clean looking. And also I'm going to show you the front wheels right now. This is the real well before we put any of the corrosive seal on it. And after we put it on, this is what it looks like. This is just one coating as well. And I would always suggest if you're laying out a floor plan and this is kind of your first time, yep. spend the money on some cardboard and literally box it out, tape it out, cut it out to the right size. Because Even just, though you have tape, you really don't know how close everything right. is. Yeah, because if, if, uh, if your cabinet's, the standard cabinet's 25 inches deep um, and then you take a... 25 inch on the other side or 36 inch on the other side it looks like a lot more space on the floor mm -hmm. but when the when you when you go vertical with it it makes a big difference so if, if this is your first time laying one out um you know either find scrap box or go to your local hardware store they sell 
you know, moving boxes, cut those up and make it. But, or your <laughs> your nearest liquor store. <laughs> yeah. Or if you know somebody who buys a lot of Amazon stuff, Absolutely. go to them. Yeah. Probably I am going to be driving the box truck just to prove I can drive it and uh, get this show on the road. And I've got my rosary beads, my Bible, and everything else to help me make it through. Put praise, praise. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to prove that I actually can drive the box truck because everybody's like, do you drive? And everything I drive is like, no. <laughs> so, and I can't drive the bus. Well, I can drive the bus, but I'm very nervous about driving the bus. So I said, I'm going to drive the box truck. So here I am. After I scrape everything. So much for that tree. <laughs> I don't care about no tree. Wait, can I go underneath this? Go this way. Will I drag that? <laughs> no. Oh. It's just you can't see who might come in that way. Oh, okay. If they can't see this and it's not for me, then they got issues. Well, it is, you know who, Rayford. <laughs> it is really cold. The heat works, it's just cold. Yeah, they just started it. We just started it. This is our 2003 E550, mm -hmm. made by Ford, and it's the 550 series, so it's like the super, super duty series. Super, super? It's beyond the super duty. Oh, okay. Of course, there's a truck coming this way. That's all right. Is there anybody? Let's see here. I don't want to go yet. I uh, sit here until my the Sundays. Uh, you got it. I know. No? Oh, oh I got a police right there. there. If I didn't have a police right there. Right there. Don't get my big nose the whole time. We're going to start right here. Okay, well, let me get on this side of you, probably. Might be the best. Okay. All these doors are going away. They're worn out. They're rattly. And we're going to build that wall here. And then, so, our first cabinet is going to be where we hide our washing machine. We love this thing. And our dinette's going to be here. And the dinette will also, if it's six foot wide, our dinette will also... Convert into a single bed. Okay. So if we have a guest, that they can stay. And then here is going to be all my mechanics, and the bottom of it's going to be water. We're going to have a, a ninety-gallon tank right here, and that'll this goes away. This was here with the original, but so the first seventeen inches on both of these will be water tank, and then above this will be where my batteries, my. Uh, Solar charge controllers, my um, inverter, everything will be in here. And then whatever space is left over, I'm hoping somewhere around this line will be just storage. And then this will be our closet from here over. And then from there, all the way back, 80 inch will end up being our bed. And the bed ends up coming to here. Yeah, the bed comes to here. So it's a queen bed. Headboard will be against this wall. Johnny will have a, a nightstand storage, you know, about eight inch of there. And then this will end up being our folding roll. We roll all of our clothes. 
So this will end up being where all that goes. And possibly the cat's uh, box. Because our dogs seem to be enjoying the cat box. If you know what I mean. And then this is the bathroom. And we're going to give Johnny a tub again. So it's going to be same as the other. 36 by 28 by 18 inches tall. And then the shower head will be here. The, there will be a wall that blocks all this off. And then the shower head over here, our new villa toilet. Then this will be a sink right here. And then this will be storage halfway. So half the sink and half is going to be storage for toilet papers, utilities, uh, utilities, the everything we need in our towels. Mm -hmm. And then this is our refrigerator, same refrigerator we have now in the bus. Not that one, but one just like it will be here. And then here we're going to put a, a cabinet, a custom cabinet to go over the wheel well. That'll be counter height. And then this will be our stove. It's not going to be the same as we had before. It's going to be a, a nice RV style stove. And then this cabinet here will be where the sink is. So there'll be a window right here. Johnny can look out and the back porch. We're going to also have a back porch that lays down. And when that's laid down, we can serve food out of the window or whatever. But that's the plan. Sink, fridge, sink, stove, more cabinet, refrigerator. Much smaller kitchen than we had before, but we're in a much smaller room. Um, all these lights go away and they'll be ended up with LED lights. Um, and that's really about the tour of the books, of the box truck. I think so. It looks good to me. I'm excited about getting it going. Yeah. So, let's see. As you can tell, we're going slower in molasses. You know what? I'm this learning how to drive. I'm not going to be going 100 miles an hour. I'm not used to the steering. Actually, we are doing 60, so I can't come by this way. We are going 60. Well, 55 now. But I was going 60 until you made me nervous. Oh, no. First time he drove the box truck several years ago, another box truck, he basically drove about a quarter mile. Mm -hmm. And then oh, I took pulled everything. over and said, all right, your turn. I'm like, everything out hey, of the cabinet. hadn't even caught up a quarter mile up the road. I literally emptied every cabinet. <laughs> I turned it up. How fast was I going when I turned the first I time? I don't know. I just turned it so fast. It was yes. so funny. Everything came out of every cabinet. Yes. And I hit the brakes like it was a car. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. But it was okay. It was okay. The Tiny House Festival. Oh, we love Tiny House Festival. Where is it located, Curtis? Pinellas Park, Florida. And who's Basically doing Clearwater, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Uh, United Tiny House United is uh, putting Tiny it House. on. Yes. And it is, what is the name of it called? Suncoast. Suncoast Tiny House Festival. Yeah, Suncoast Tiny House Festival. Right now... We are going to go, as we see it, to the Suncoast yes. Tiny House Festival in Tampa. We're so excited, and if y'all want to meet us or see us, we hope to see y'all there, because we're going to have a good time no matter what. Yes. So, yeah, we're going to make it really easy for COVID-friendly tour. Yes. And I get to show y'all probably next week how it's going to look, because I'm going to try to have everything marked down in the bus and how we're going to do it with our website, and I think it'll go really well this time. Good. Um, I'm going to put a lot of time behind it all next week. Good. So, anywho, well, thank you for joining us today for OLOPRV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can get all of our updated videos. And we'll see you soon. Bing. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I was waiting <laughs>